So I have work at 7.30 a.m. and it's now 2.24 in the a.m. I decided to stay up late or early, depending upon how you look at it, to watch the new Hellraiser on Hulu. In short, really enjoyed this movie. I'm gonna be real, I'm gonna make a controversial statement. I, I liked it better than the first Hellraiser. I like the first Hellraiser, but it's never been like that captivating of a story to me. I like the Cenobites. I think that the idea of the Cenobites and Clive Barker's depiction of hell is really cool. I don't think that the first film spends nearly enough time with the Cenobites. When they come out, it's awesome. But like the other characters, I, I kind of don't give a shit, to be honest with you. I actually prefer Hellraiser 2, honestly. Enough about the old movies. This movie, the Lady Pinhead or Hell Priest, she just nailed the character. Visually, this movie was just beautiful. It was grotesque and beautiful exactly the way it's supposed to be. The designs for the Cenobites are so freaking cool. They even go, they explain a lot more like what the cube is and like what the different forms are and stuff, which they... At least as far as I remember, they didn't do in the first Hellraiser movie. I have not read the original book or short story by Clive Barker, but I had heard that they wanted to take elements from that original story and incorporate them in this. This movie's bleak. <laughs> it's bleak. There's some people who don't deserve to go to hell who do. Actually, I'm going to be honest with you, it's not as violent as I thought it would be. I've probably just been desensitized over the years, but I thought that this movie was going to be way worse in terms of the gore. Don't get me mistaken, there's still plenty of gore in this, but it's not, it never really feels excessive, at least, you know, not for a Hellraiser movie. The, the complexity of the characters too, like Riley, she's a very morally gray character. She's not really a good person. But you kind of, you kind of sympathize with her and you do hope for her to succeed because addicts or recovering addicts, they're not an easy people to deal with. And I think that the movie kind of handled that well. Plus also, it's like you kind of get the sense that these are the type of people who are, you know, kind of drawn in by whoever's screwing around with the cube, basically. Or there's like a really cool thing. It actually kind of reminds me of Hellraiser Bloodlines a little bit, like the, the space station that's meant to kind of like resemble the cube that's built by like the descendant of the guy who originally created the cube. There's sort of something like that. Really cool stuff. I don't want to get into spoilers. I don't want to say who lives, who dies, how everything unfolds, what the end game is, but it is rare that like a remake or a reboot is this good. I hope that this gets good reception. I'd imagine it will, but I, I am longing for a sequel to this. Again, the original Hellraiser, the first film, was fun primarily at the end, when hell breaks loose. The second film with the chick who looks like Brad Pitt was a lot better. This, I think, tops them both. And I know that there's probably going to be a lot of hate coming my way towards that. I do not understand why this movie was not released in theaters. It's, it's clearly a lot of money went into it, a lot of thought, a lot of care. The creative team that worked on this movie they got it. They got it, they understood it, and they nailed it. For all the fans that I may have pissed off with my remarks about the first movie, feel free to, you know, comment below. Let me know what you think. I, I really enjoyed the new Hellraiser. I thought I thought it was fantastic, and um, it's on Hulu, guys. It's free. If you don't have Hulu, go to a friend's house who has Hulu and watch it. And that's all she wrote.